Okay, folks, Sean Mize here again. So what I've just given you in part one is the Ascension marketing model for selling information products. And so what I've shown you is how you can easily create a, a product every single week if you want to, if you're creating bigger products, maybe you create three products your first month. Uh, you know, I was discussing today with some of my platinum uh, clients this idea that you just have to get out there and do it. And if you don't have any products at all, I know it feels scary. And so when we talk about creating four products, you go, wow, I could never create four products. Well, yes, you can, but you've got to start with the number one. So start with number one. Create the first product. Once the first product is created, then think about creating the second product. You know, there's a couple of different formulas that I've given my clients over the course of the last year that have both been very, very powerful. One of those formulas is imagine what would happen if every single week you simply worked for one hour on creating products and you recorded one hour of product every week. Now, that sounds like it would be really, really slow, but let's imagine two different scenarios. The first scenario is that you go for an entire year and you do nothing but create one hour recording every single week. At the end of the year, you would have 50 hours of content. So let me ask you this. If you had 50 hours of good, solid content in your niche, would you not have more content than most of your competition? I mean, think about it. Most of your competition has what? Uh, you know, a five-hour program and a 10-hour program and then a couple of one-hour programs, right? What's that, a 17 hours of total content? Imagine if you had 50 hours of total content. What could you do with that content? Could you have 10 one-hour programs that you sell for, say, $37? That's 10 of your, four, your 50. leaves you 40 hours of content. So maybe with the rest you take, you create a 10-hour home study course. Now you still got 30 hours left to do something with. So maybe you say, okay, out of 30, let's, have a, let's take 25 of them and create a bi-monthly, 24 of them, create a bi-monthly coaching program with two of those hours as the coaching core for each of the next 12 months. You could have a 12-month coaching program you still have six hours left. Maybe you could make that into an intermediate six-hour home study course. Can you see where you could go with this? Another way to do it would be, let's say that you're really timid and you say, hey, wow, I could never create a 10-hour program. Well, what if you created 50 one-hour programs and every single week you launched one more one-hour program to your list? Every week you launched a one-hour program to your list for, let's say, $19.99 or $37. What would happen to your sales? Now, let's take this a step further. Imagine if you were to put that into your autoresponder so that every single time a new person came into your list for 50 weeks, they would be promoted like clockwork, 50 different products over the course of 50 weeks. What would happen? You would be able to guarantee yourself that for every 10 or 15 or 100 people that came into your list, X number of people would buy from you. Well, once you knew that the average person coming in would make two or three or four sales, Wow, would you get excited about driving more people into your funnel? You see, one of the problems that you're probably having right now is that you want to drive traffic. You need to drive traffic because if you don't drive traffic, you don't have subscribers, you don't have buyers. But you don't have an autoresponder sequence with more than one or two products in it. So even if you put a lot of time and energy into driving traffic, even if they buy one product, well, that's not a lot of revenue. But imagine instead if you had a system with 50 products in it and people just came in the front end and sequentially over 50 weeks they had opportunities to buy different things. If that were the case, then you could spend a lot of your time just driving traffic to the front end of this automated campaign, correct? Excellent. That's the point that I really want to get across to you right now. See, the next thing that I want to teach you, this is going to be fast, the next thing that I want to teach you here is I want to teach you about how to create an easy, easy coaching program. Okay, now I've already given you one idea. I mean, my goodness, you can just take the hours that you're creating and, and you know, say one hour a week for 13 weeks and, well, that's your coaching program. It's a 13-week coaching program. Or you could have a year coaching program and every other week they get a lesson. And each lesson would just simply be one of the teachings that you've done. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is, and again, it goes back to just simply recording some content every single week. But let's say that you create a couple of products. You create a one-hour product. You create a five-hour product. You create a 10-hour product. And now you say, I'm going to create a coaching program. Now, the easiest way to do that is to sell the coaching program first 
before you create all the lessons. Okay, here's why. Because with coaching, just contrast, if you sell a product, I mean, you've got to have the physical product ready to ship immediately if you sell a product. If you sell an MP3, well, they need to get it immediately. They buy it, they get it immediately. But with coaching, nobody gets coaching immediately. The nature of coaching is that you're going to get it over time. Okay, so maybe you do go out and you record your very first lesson. Okay, but all the rest of the lessons can come literally every single week. The lessons can come. Every single week, they get a lesson. And every single week, you can record the new lesson. So let's say that you sell a 13-week coaching program. Let's just put a price on it, $500. You sell a $500, 13-week coaching program. Here's what you do. is You determine, you ask your subscribers what their challenges are right now, and you ask them if they'd be interested in a coaching program to help them with those challenges, and a number of them will say yes. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a coaching program, and you're going to outline the 13 lessons the same way that I taught you to outline one hour. You're going to come up with 13 topics that the people in your niche would want to learn about, and you really don't even need 13. You probably only need nine or ten, because the beginning, the first lesson is just going to be an introduction. The last one is going to be kind of a conclusion, wrapping things up. And then some topics you may even need two weeks. So you'll really only need like nine or ten topics. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to outline the three or four things that you need to teach to make that particular topic complete. Then, because it's a live coaching program, there's two ways you can do it. One is you can just record it in the comfort of your home and send the lesson out. What I really like to do if I'm doing a coaching program is to have a time. You know, let's say 2 o'clock on Wednesday, I'm going to, you know, do a live teleseminar that's going to be my coaching and I'm going to teach for 45 minutes, and then I'm going to open up the call for Q&A. The reason I'm going to open up the call for Q&A, the reason I'm going to open up the call for Q&A is, well, number one, it creates a better coaching experience, but number two, if for some reason I've been incomplete in teaching something that I've been teaching. So the 45 minutes I taught and I forgot to mention something. Well, people are going to ask, and they go, well, what about this? And you go, oh, yes, I should have thought about that. Here it is. So what will happen is by allowing people to ask questions, you will actually get complete a complete lesson because of the questions that they're asking. What I also like to do with the coaching program, this is really easy, is create a homework assignment. And that's as easy as at the end of that, the 45 minutes or an hour that you teach, you say, okay, folks, here's what I want you to do this week. And then you give them an exercise that's relevant for whatever it is that you just taught them. So you go out and do this. Now, the key here is that you're going to record all of these lessons so that once you've taught them live for 13 weeks, the next time that you sell your coaching program, they won't be live. Instead, people will receive the lessons via autoresponder. You'll just, somebody signs up for the coaching, they'll get lesson one through the autoresponder. Lesson two will come one week later in the autoresponder. Lesson three will come the following week. Because you recorded everything, they'll get everything. They're going to get all the training material. They're going to get the Q&A. And then they are also going to get the homework assignment. Okay, now, obviously with coaching, you need some form of, of feedback. So if you're using the recorded lessons, then you could do a live Q&A phone call for all the students that are in all of your coaching programs. You could do that two times a month, three times a month, something like that. Or you could offer people email access or forum access as the feedback mechanism. Okay, folks, I have now given you, I've given you my complete formula for creating a product funnel, including a coaching program, and doing it very, very, very quickly. And this, trust me, this is so much easier than even it probably sounds on, on this teaching, but you have to start somewhere. And if you allow yourself to be inundated with this idea that this is a lot of hard work, yes, it is a lot of work, but you know, think about the time that you're spending online now. Maybe you're spending 15 hours a week online, but what are you accomplishing? You know, you're spending several hours a week surfing for new information. You're spending several hours a week reading emails. You're spending several hours a week trying to learn how to do new things. Well, instead, take the information that I've given you. Just take one of those 15 hours every week and record for an hour, okay? And then uh, spend one of those hours creating a sales letter using a sales letter template software. And you take one of those hours to write the email to, to promote this in your email campaign and put it in your autoresponder. That's three of your 15 hours. You've still got 12 hours to do everything else that you normally do. 
that unfortunately isn't making you very much money right now, those three hours will outperform the other 12. You've just got to do it. Get out there and do it. And here's what I recommend. As soon as you finish this listening to me right here, like in the next minute, don't go do anything else until you've written your outline for your very first product and then pencil yourself a time in tomorrow to sit down and record for one hour. And then once you've recorded for one hour, you will have your very first product. And then the following day, go out and create a sales letter using a sales letter template uh, maker, a sales letter maker. The following day, send an email out to your list to promote it. Just do it. You'll be amazed at what happens. And some of the people that buy it, they'll buy your next product next week. They'll buy the next product next week. They'll buy the next product next week. Your buyers are going to be your biggest source of buyers. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I trust this has been incredible teaching for you. And uh, just get out there and do the work. That's the biggest piece. Do the work. You will get the results.